Baltimore City school leaders again come face to face with fired up parents and teachers over building conditions that left students in frigid classrooms earlier this month. WJZ is live at City School headquarters. George Solis with what both sides are saying now. George? Good evening, Mary. Certainly a marathon of a meeting covering a wide range of issues impacting city schools, but the main issue is what you mentioned, those cold classrooms that we reported on earlier this month. A, a lot of them documented on this spreadsheet put out by school officials this evening, detailing a number of issues plaguing schools when cold weather impacts. I'm glad you're holding us accountable. We have made changes, but there is a larger issue. And Before a full house, Baltimore City Schools CEO Dr. Sonia Sanalise is addressing the root of the cold classroom controversy. And the larger issue is in the investment of school buildings within this city for these kids. WJZ spending days uncovering the numerous heating problems at several schools during the recent cold snap. Weather that led to problems that led to these images that made national headlines. It's inhumane for these children. Monday, city school leaders at a town hall meeting handing out a 10 page spreadsheet of all the schools in the district and the impact the extreme cold had on the buildings. A list totaling more than 100 schools. As you can see, plenty of people eager to make their voices heard, school officials doing their best to calm concerns and clear the air. The head of the city's teachers union says a new extreme weather policy is already in the works. But they plan on taking their fight right to the governor. We're going to Annapolis on January 29th to lobby for more funds. The governor has pledged two and a half million for emergency fixes, criticizing school leaders. We simply cannot allow children to be punished year after year because their adult leaders are failing. Parents of students caught up in the controversy, like Derek Miller, fed up with the blame game and losing hope. It's never going to get fixed. And, if, and these questions that there's going to be answered here, these folks don't have the answers. Educators also ready for change. I think the time for finger pointing has passed, and it's important for us to figure out like, what are we going to do to address the problem. And I, I... Now, the question of $66 million given back to the state by the school district, another point of discussion tonight. And both sides placing the blame on each other on why that money isn't being used now to fund some of these repairs. School officials argue that a change moving forward needs to be made and how that money is given to Baltimore City Schools. Live outside Baltimore City School headquarters, George Solis reporting. For WJZ. George, thank you. School officials say repairs or renovations are already in the works for a number of the schools.